If you are watching this, it's probably because you get nervous before every photo shoot, and this is totally normal. This never gonna go away, because if you have different clients, every client is different. You can struggle shooting with someone, and then another one suddenly super easy to shoot with. So this is gonna happen all the time. That fear is never gonna go away, but you can learn to deal with it, and by the end of this video, hopefully, you're gonna be able to feel more inspired, more motivated, and more confident. So you're gonna be able to lead your clients better. I was shooting yesterday with an actress in London, outdoors. And normally I don't record my client work because I have to respect my clients that don't wanna be recorded. Obviously, they get more shy even. But she was an actress, so she allowed me to record and block the whole photo shoot outdoors in Camden Town, which is super nice. So you guys are gonna love that vlog and I'm gonna share it probably next week because it's gonna cost me a lot to edit it because I have a lot of content. Make sure to subscribe if you didn't yet because you're gonna love it and probably I'm gonna share more vlogs like this because I have more shootings coming up outdoors and I think they are very interesting and London locations are incredible. So why I'm saying this? I'm saying this because guys, as I mentioned at the beginning, I still get nervous before every photo shoot. With this one, I didn't know the client till I arrived to Joanna's place. It was Joanna's friend, but I didn't know her. But you have to be super friendly all the time. You have to be confident because you're gonna shoot with someone and that person has to be confident with you. So to be honest, for photo shoots, I don't get that nervous anymore, depending on the client or how big is the project. But I was very nervous to record outdoor, guys, because I'm not used to record YouTube videos outdoors. You see my channel, I have a few, and I did a vlog as well with Joanna in East London. You have to check it out if you didn't yet. But yeah, I'm not used to record to the camera, even in my place. Now I'm in my home alone, and I don't even know how long I take to record a video. So guys, by the end of this video, how many times I'm gonna say the same? To be able to adapt and... Uh, with an actress, with a London actress? No. This is the only way to... I don't know. So outdoors, guys, I was super scared to shoot. There were a lot of people in Camden Town. It's a touristy place. Everyone was watching us because the model was doing an amazing job posing. She couldn't be better, to be honest. I was shooting there, so in my creative bubble, I didn't care about anyone. And Joanna was there filming as well to help me out with the video and with the makeup of the model. But then people were watching, and when the time came and I had to speak to the camera, I don't even know how many mistakes I did. Because I was shy, I was super self-conscious, and guys, I was super nervous as well. Uh, how do you say it? Music, music agencies? <laughs> Film agencies. And take two. Yay! <laughs> okay, so as you saw, guys... I suffered a lot recording yesterday, and guys, there is no way to escape fear. You have to face it. Because when you face it, you're gonna feel nervous, and you're gonna be terrified, and you're gonna have this adrenaline going on, but then when you do it, you're gonna feel so proud of yourself. And next time it's gonna be easier. So for me recording, next time it's gonna be easier. And then a bit easier, and then I'm gonna become a natural, hopefully, because now I have still such a block at recording outdoors video. But guys, for photo shoots it's the same. You're gonna feel scared all the time, a bit nervous, and depending on the client, it's completely normal, because if you have an important client, you're gonna feel even more nervous the night before, but you're gonna be able to control it better. So the only way is practicing. There is a great book I read time ago and it helped me with this matter. I actually got it just because of this, because I was terrified before every photo shoot. And it's called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. It's such a great book because it literally tells you how normal it is to be scared when you do something important in your life. That means you are progressing. And it tells you as well how every actor, celebrity, everyone you see out there, they learn facing fears. Don't think like everyone goes in the States or for photo shoots or whatever, and they were never nervous. They were, but then they overcome it. So this book, you can find it in Audible and you have a link below. You can download it for free because if you didn't do it yet, you have a free trial of Audible and they give you one book for free, regardless of the price. So basically what I did is taking the most expensive and then I cancel the membership. And then you get to keep the book. Take this book because it's gonna help you. And then if you want, cancel the subscription. I pay for it in the end. I came back to it because it's, I think, $7.99. And you get one book for free every month, regardless of the price. So you are very compensated the price of the book. So basically you don't lose money. And also if you are Amazon Prime, you get two books per month. And I cannot read anymore, guys, because I'm super busy. So I love audiobooks. So yeah, that book is gonna help you a lot. And my own tricks, I hope they're gonna help you as well. 
by my own experience, guys, what you have to think before every photo shoot is that the client is more nervous than you. You are the one shooting. You shouldn't be nervous. It's normal, but you shouldn't be nervous. The other person is nervous because they have to pose for you. They have to trust you. They have to feel connection with you. So you cannot be shy as a photographer. You cannot be nervous, or at least you cannot show it. So what it helps me is to think that. It's like I have to be strong, I have to lead my client, and I have to show confidence. I cannot let my client see I'm nervous because they're gonna get even more nervous than me. You can never do that. So please keep calm, nothing bad gonna happen. If there is any mistake about, for example, technical problems, it's fine. We are all human beings. Your client is not gonna get upset. If suddenly you get a bit stuck creatively, you just take some pictures and warm up with the client and you tell him like you are doing some test shots. Never show like you are stuck. Try to carry on, test shot, talk to him or her and try to carry on. But guys, it's not that terrifying. It's more terrifying for the client. What I do as well is always put music on my photo shoots so that way I relax, my client relax. And what I do as well before shooting is talking with my client in a friendly way. Don't be this thing of photographer client and that's it because they're gonna be I don't know how to explain. I'm very friendly with my clients and actually most of my clients right now are my friends. They became friends or people I keep collaborating with because I'm very friendly and sometimes I've been silly and I'm very ridiculous on my photo shoots. So the client lose this fear to appear bad on a picture, for example. So all these things are gonna help you. But guys, you're gonna have to deal with it. It never gets better. It gets better, obviously. I'm not that nervous anymore. But when I'm gonna have a big client, I get nervous because obviously I wanna do my best at my job and obviously you wanna do everything perfect. If you are terrified as well because this happened as well a lot to beginners, probably you are scared to don't deliver the quality they expect. You have to think like if they book you, it's because they saw your portfolio. So you wanna be able to give them what they saw at least. So don't be scared if they book you it's because they like your work. So just be creative, relax, because if you don't relax, your client is gonna relax and it's gonna be a drama. So it's normal to be nervous, guys. Try to deal with it. Try to lead, because you really have to have this thing with you to be able to make the client trust you. Also, this is another topic, but I've just uploaded a new video in my private community about what to say to clients when they tell you that you are too expensive. I don't even know how many times this happened to me, like way too often, and I'm sure to you too. So guys, go check out that video because it's gonna help you a lot, hopefully. And it's in my private community. You can check it out down below. I always put it there. So go take a look because I share content always there. I share as well free resources for photographers and everything to be able to make a living with your camera for a very small donation. So feel free to check it out. And then if you like what you see, you can sign up or otherwise you skip it and you keep in YouTube because this is for free as well. So yes, guys, I really hope you feel more confident. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. And yes, guys, uh, there is no need to be nervous. This is, is normal, but photography is a beautiful thing. So you just have to practice, practice, practice. Maybe practice with family, with friends, and people you feel comfortable with, and then escalate to clients. So guys, see you very soon, and big love to everyone.